Hoy me levanté feliz, aunque dicen por ahí que están hablando de mí. Before Bad Bunny would clock in more than 12 million subscribers on YouTube, 13.2 million followers on Instagram, and more than 32.5 million monthly listeners on Spotify, Before Bad Bunny would generate more than a billion views on YouTube, making your man Michael McCrudden a little peanut butter and jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Before Bad Bunny collaborated with some of the most important names in rap and reggaeton, including Ozuna, J Balvin, Daddy Yankee, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and Drake. La gente no se imagina cuántos artistas del mercado americano quieren grabar conmigo ahora mismo. En real hay muchos, muchos artistas que sus temas norteamericanos que son éxitos quieren hacerle el remix. Conmigo en, en, en el mercado latino. Before Bad Bunny was spotted filming a music video with Drake in the streets of Miami. Bad Bunny is a Latin trap and reggaeton artist who has conquered the music industry in less than two years before even releasing a studio album. Yeah. He made a name for himself through social media and his talents and unique style were noticed by the right people. He did this all at just 24 years old, and he's become one of the leading voices in the Latin trap movement, collaborating with great artists, filling stadiums and auditoriums, and creating a movement called the New Religion. However, not much is known about Bad Buddy before he was fame. So that's where I come in on this. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCretton documenting the life and career of Bad Bunny prior to fame. Here for you of course, uh, before they're famous. Now we recently dropped a video on Jay Balvin, which you might want to check out. You know, and if you guys are into more videos like this, like about Spanish artists, well you're in luck because we have a channel dedicated to that. All about people from Latin America. Well, from everywhere, but with a focus on that. You can check that out. In fact, we have a host on that channel. Her name is Aylid, and she's gonna be helping me out with this video. And then you can subscribe to her channel. Great girl. All right, let's get into uh, Bad Bunny. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Hey, vente. ¿Cómo funcionan ellos? Yo no sé si eso... Misu, misu. Bad Bunny was born Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio on March 10th, 1994 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. But he didn't stay there for long and he would grow up in Vega Baja. Now his father, he was a truck driver and his mother, a retired school teacher. Her name is Lesur... I give up. Aylin, help me out. Lisauri Ocasio. He has two younger brothers, Misael and Bernie Martinez, who spoke fondly of their older brother. And they said, he has taught us to fight for what we want, to follow our dreams. This is cute having you yeah. here. Yeah, this is nice. Now from a young age, Benito, he loved to sing, and when he was just five years old, he knew he wanted to become a singer. This dream would continue to grow after his parents gave him a Vico C album for Christmas. Now what is Vico C, is that how you say it? Vico C. Okay, cool. And uh, in the interview, well, his mother said, even since he was little, he loved music. He was always in his room with his keyboard, writing music, doing all those things, but we never imagined this. His mother is Catholic. Uh, it's, it's Catholic. Catholic. <laughs> and would take her children to church on a regular basis, and it would be there where Benito would begin to sing publicly. Now I'm guessing he showed signs of greatness early on, because he was invited to be part of the children's choir. There he would sing until he was 13 years old. Shortly after leaving the choir, well, he began to experiment with different styles and vocal tones, and would also write his first few songs. It was during this time that he started becoming a fan of artists like Daddy Yankee and Hector Love. Hector Lavo. That guy. Benito learned the meaning of hard work early on in his life and he would find any way to make his money. Make that dough, baby! Yeah. Now this included cleaning computers as well as downloading music, putting it on a USB and selling it to people. That's like the evolution of the burned CD. Were you, when you were, was there burned CDs when you were growing up? Yeah. Of course. Was there people giving out USBs? No, that was weird. We're old. Yeah. When he was in high school, he found ways to entertain himself, which included doing freestyles with his classmates. But there was something special about Benito, and his classmates made sure he knew, and he stated, People started to motivate me by saying, why don't you release music, upload it online, upload it here, upload it on Facebook, whatever. And I said, no, no, no. But little by little, my mind started working, and I said, it's true. 
I have to put something in. I think when he said in, he brought he meant out. Yeah, maybe. Now, Benito, he began to think of a moniker and remembered a picture taken in his childhood on Easter when he was forced to dress up as a rabbit. He was not happy with this, and he ended up looking annoyed in the picture, so people started calling him Bad Bunny. Well, looking back, I guess he has a little picture to thank for generating his stage name and a moniker that would be recognized by millions of fans all over the world. He's a big deal, right? He is. Yo dije, mira, tengo que hacer algo creativo, algo diferente, algo que, 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 que se le quede a la, a la gente en la mente. While Benito was studying communications at the University of Puerto Rico, he would start producing his own music independently. He wrote lyrics and made tracks for his songs, deciding that instead of looking for a record label to sign him, he would be uploading his songs to the internet and use social media and SoundCloud to find an audience. Audience? You're, this is your second language, like you're doing a really good job. Thanks. <laughs> now Bad Bunny, he was really surprised when his song, what is it? Diles. That one? Well, it was received uh, pretty good by the youth of Puerto Rico. The kids were eating it up. And about that song, he said, I was just doing music. I had no idea that it would become so popular. In 2016, while Bad Bunny was still studying and working in a supermarket, well, he started doing small shows in San Juan. He then uploaded videos to him singing to Instagram, and little did he know that his hustle would pay off, giving him his first big break. Without ever promoting his songs, he caught the attention of DJ Luyan and Mambo Kings, reggaeton artists with connections and a record label called Hear This Music. They saw Bad Bunny's potential when they realized that he was doing this all on his own, and they decided to sign him to their label, Mambo Kings and DJ Luyan. Yeah. Well, he has said, I think urban music has a few years where a door opens and some talents come, and this time I think it was Bad Bunny's turn to be the phenomenon of urban music. Well, just like that, and less than a year after creating his first, you know, initial track, Bad Bunny signed his first recording contract. He then stated, If it weren't for music, my job would have been working until I'm 80 in a supermarket. I have no passion for anything else. Shortly after signing with Hear This Music, he will release the remix for The Less with Nyango Flow, Osuna, Arcangel, and Farruko. And currently, the video has more than 40 million views on YouTube. 400 million! 400, sorry. <laughs> now, have you covered those? other artists on your channel? I have. Even Nengo Flow? No, Nengo Flow, I'm missing, I'm missing that one. Gotta get to work. Yeah. Tu no vives así, is that, is that right? Tu no vives así. That one. It's the song that made him internationally known. It reached the Latin Billboard chart, but despite its success, Bad Bunny has admitted that it's one of the songs that has been, well, it was the easiest for him to write. However, this time he decided to take advantage of his popularity on social media to promote the song, and after posting fragments of the track to Instagram, his fans' reactions were all he needed to see and know that this was gonna become an absolute banger. Do you have that word in Spanish, banger? Yeah, well, hit. Yeah, that's what? a little more practical. <laughs> that same day, he went on to record the song, and after just a few days, DJ Luan, Luyan, that guy, he would call him to let him know that Archangel wanted to record the remix with him. Shortly after, they filmed the official music video, which at the time of this recording has more than 700 million views on YouTube. My God. On December 30th, 2016, he would release the song Soy Peor. Soy Peor. And he would upload the official video to his YouTube channel. Well, this song, it instantly went viral, so much so that many YouTubers started making their own parodies, which also reached millions of views on the platform. On March 3, 2017, they launched the video for the song Si Tu Novio Te Deja Sola, a collaboration with J Balvin, a video that in less than a month reached more than 100 million views. Oh! What's the what, what's the most views you've gotten on one video on your channel? Uh, yeah, like three. Yeah. It's good. Now this track was created by Benito, yes, long before going by Bad Bunny, and long before meeting J Balvin, but ever since creating the track, the only artist he ever had in mind for it was J Balvin. And uh, well, he never imagined that he would get the opportunity to show him, let alone record it with him. It's like a dream come true, kids. Fue un sentimiento increíble, recuerdo siempre, no, no me da vergüenza decirlo, tuve que salir del estudio, los dejé, dejé, dejé a, a Balvin, dejé a Mambo trabajando y me fui para el estudio a llorar de la nación. <laughs> this was also the first trap song nominated for a Latin Grammy, which only added to the reasons why 2017 was a fantastic year for the artist. In fact, one of the most important events that took place was on March 18th of that year at the second edition of We The Future Festival, where Bad Bunny would perform on the main stage 
stage as one of the headlining acts. In July, he would collaborate with Becky G in the song Mayores, and just the following month, he would be nominated as Revelation Artist in Premios Juventud. The collaborations, they just kept on coming in after that. We're talking artists like Faruko, Nicki Minaj, there was Travis Scott on Crippy Kush, the remix, as well as the Nacho and Yandel on the track Belly. Baila me. <laughs> also, uh, Carol G and Quavo on the remix for Ahora Mi Lama. Ahora me llama. <laughs> what would I do without her? And we're just like talking about a few of them, guys. There's plenty more. And when I say many more, I really mean it. I'm pretty sure we could make like an entire video about all his collabs. Yeah, and we can add Will Smith to that list now. What? Yeah. He worked with Will Smith? Yeah, that's crazy. On music? Yeah. What the hell is Will Smith not doing? <laughs> I can make a video on that. Yeah, we should. We should do that. Yeah. Let us know if you want us to do that down below. Now there's a reason that everyone wants to collaborate with Bad Bunny because as soon as he puts out any new work, everyone eats it up and it becomes an instant hit. Lots of success coming his way. But it hasn't been all good news. While he was on his world tour when he landed in Europe, he was greeted with news of Hurricane Maria, which had just struck Puerto Rico. It was difficult for Benito having to perform knowing how things were in his country. And he was constantly thinking about his family and friends. After a show, he wrote a freestyle and would upload it to Instagram. Aunque Maria se llevó los techos y colapsó los puentes, no pudo colapsar la valentía de mi gente. Dicen que perdiendo a veces se gana y sé que Puerto Rico de hoy no es el de ayer. Bad Bunny later stated, it came out of the chest, it went straight out of the mind. A lot of people liked Maria's freestyle. Immediately it went viral here in Puerto Rico. Now after Hurricane Maria, Bad Bunny personally distributed water, food, and generators to help the people that were affected. Bad Bunny called his movement La Nueva Religión, which translates to the new religion. And to symbolize that, he does a gesture that he, like he, he put his pinkles here. So this is the way he does it. And when they ask him why in an interview, he chose to say this. So, eh, siempre yo estoy ready, pues a veces uno tiene una lagaña. All right, all right, he was clearly joking about that one. Now in another interview, he gives the real meaning behind the symbol, which is a shout out to all his fans who support him and believe in the progress that he's made. It's also representing the future of music and all the Latin artists who are continuing to kill it. Now his most recent solo success are, uh, what are the? Chambea and Amorfoda. And the later being two words in Portuguese that mean? Love. Your, your swearing is bang on. Sorry. <laughs> and his most recent success is? Estamos bien. Which translates to we are okay. Yeah. And uh, well, they've reached almost 100 million views on YouTube in just a few weeks. Now recently he performed on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and he dedicated this song to all the people who were affected by Hurricane Maria. More than 3,000 people die and Trump is still in denial. But you know what? Bad Bunny has tried to make his music as real as possible and is always looking to connect with his fans and he has said My mission with my music is that when people listen to it however many more years, it just brings them good memories. I think that's the most beautiful thing in music and that's why I love it. Thanks guys for checking out this video. For more videos like this, be sure to check out Aylid's channel called, what do you call it? Antes de que fueran famosos. It's before they were famous in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> she's killing it. She's doing really good. Why don't you wrap up the show? Okay, so like if you guys like the video, just like give us a No, like. you have to say the thing. As for the rest of the story. Oh, do you say that? Yeah, okay. but in Spanish. Do it now. Do I do it in Spanish? However you want. Okay. Y el resto de la historia, bueno, pues tendremos que esperar y ver con qué más nos sorprende Bad Bunny porque esto fue antes de que fueran famosos. Okay guys, so after editing the video, I realized that my post was a little bit awkward. So I just want to show you guys why. I was like actually standing on top of this because like Mike is super, super tall. Like I was not able to be like in the same side to him. So this is why. Yay! Bye! Bye!